Absolutely. Well, and again, she's a great friend in that way. So yes, she is. Thank, thank you for trusting her and being here. Thank you. Norma Jean. Okay, hi. I'm Norma Jean Strickland. You can just call me NJ for my initials. And I currently live in Goodyear, Arizona. But in two weeks, I'm moving 28 miles east to Mid-City, Phoenix. I can't wait. I'm buried right now. I'm adjunct faculty with Maricopa County Community College District. And tomorrow starts final exams. And I have to get grades done. And you know how all that is. We just all have a lot on our plate right now. Um, my chapter is called Whispers from Your Heart mm -hmm. because we all need to learn how to listen and pay attention. So, thank you. And to, I, I left out two very important pieces of information. Florine is as she stated, a photographer, and she has done photo shoot for not only Sharon and I, but a couple of other women who are already on board. So if you need your photo, because we're going to do a headshot for the book, if you need a, a professional high resolution photo, contact Florine. And um, with your permission, I'm going to send everybody's email and contact phone numbers so that we all can stay connected if there's something that you want to reach out to one of the other women. So I hope I have everybody's permission to do that. Okay, I'm seeing thumbs up. Yay. <laughs> then the, the other, the other yes. joyful thing that happened is Norma Jean is, and I don't, didn't hear you say this in your, in your little introduction, but Norma Jean is an exceptional editor. She's actually an Emmy award winning <laughs> editor. Um, so she has agreed to edit any chapter that anybody has or their bio. Um, so reach out to Norma Jean and she can, cause she can help you with that. So I just want to give a shout out to both of you for that. Cause the, the edits that Norma Jean has done and the, the photography that Florine has done is just fabulous. So, I mean, I, I can't speak highly enough that what a gift that we got that these two ladies came into our to our project and have a gift, skill, and talent to share with all of us. So I just wanted to, to give that shout out and acknowledgement and let you all know that it's available for her. So thank you. thank you. So Dina. Hey, I'm Dina and I live in Buckeye, Arizona. I'm a hypnotherapist. My favorite thing to do in the hypnotherapy is past life regression, but I also do other modalities, EFT, Reiki, um, transformational life coach. I just got involved in this last week. Thanks for Aaron for yeah, making, helping you, Aaron. me make that connection. <laughs> uh, a book had been on my list for many, many years. And interestingly, I just did part of a launch on May 4th and was part of another collaborative book um, Ancestors Within. So just came through that process and I'm like, okay, check. I've got a book out there. I'm not gonna do that for a little while. And then this opportunity came along and it felt right. Awesome. So I'm excited to be in another group. So just because I just got on board, I'm not sure what my topic's gonna be. The thing that keeps crossing my mind is something related to shame and how that has such an impact on us our whole lives. Yeah. So. That's a big one. Yeah, but I'm thrilled to be here. Like I said, it's, you. you know, you never know once you open the door, but just, just because I'm so happy to be an author, this is our book. Yay! So we awesome. made it Congratulations. on several Amazon categories. So that was cool. <laughs> well, we'll have another one of those as well with Becky. So. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I know Becky from previous, we've been some network groups. So I'm thrilled. We got great leadership. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Andrea, are you there? Andrea, you're on mute. You're no, on I'm mute. not. <laughs> it took me a second. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrea, and I, hi, Denise. <laughs> um, I am a professional organizer, or, or I like oh, to yeah. call it, I'm a bring, bring, bringer of calm. That's really what I do, so help people 
get control of their space and their calendars. And uh, even sometimes we talk about um, people in our lives sometimes need to be purged. So um, it's kind of an over overreaching um, organization and it's all about simplifying life. Um, I'm, a, I'm also a published author. I wrote a book called Simplify Your Life and that was released in 2019. And uh, yeah, quite the project. Um, so I'm excited to be part of this. I think um, a collaborative group, we get to um, turn it over to the professionals and let them do all the hard stuff because boy, was that a steep learning curve, my goodness. Um, I live in East Mesa. And um, what else did you want to know? Oh, my topic. So I was, a, I lost my mom in December. She was 95 years old. So originally I was going to write about my mom and um, I was going to write about grace and acceptance and, you know, all these things. And as I started it, I just kept flashing to this box that my mom had for years in the top of her closet. And I ended up writing a story about this box that contains all kinds of things that belong to her mom. And her mom died in 1931 when my mom was only five. So trying to put pieces together of my grandmother based on these things in this box became the story and it kind of it truthfully it wrote itself so I'm very excited about it I'm very proud of it I, I've had the honor of reading it and it's it is extraordinary it's 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 an amazing wonderful magical story walking walking through that box as you described everything so thank you thank, thank you. you so Amy hey everyone hi so Clearly, you know, my name's Amy and it's on the bottom left hand side. <laughs> um, I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'll be here three years in September. Um, before that, I lived in Illinois. I grew up in Peoria, Illinois, but I pretty much lived my whole adult life in Chicago. Um, and my title of the, my book is How My Epiphany Translated into Support and Peace of Mind for Others. So my, it was very close to my parents. And in 2015, my dad passed, he's 86. And my mom, my mom and dad have been married 60 years. And my dad did everything. So it was really about um, how I helped support her. Well, I helped support her through that. Um, I should also mention, um, I was an executive assistant for many years, very organized as well. And then I became a project manager. So I used those skills to help my mom with her estate information, um, because I knew when she passed, I was going to have to do that. So it's, it's really this epiphany ended up after my mom got sick and I was taking care of her. And the epiphany was that I was meant to, to help her and I was meant to help my dad and take care of the things I did. And while I was going through this and it was very stressful and emotional as I'm sure we all understand when a loved one pass away, I thought to myself, how do people handle being the trustee of estates? It's taxing and overwhelming and emotional. And like, that's what I would do in, at work. I would go to work and I worked in corporate America and I would be thrown into a crisis and I'd have to fix that crisis and I'd have to build a plan around the crisis. So I'm like, I, I, this is my job. I can do with my eyes closed and I'm struggling with it. And that's when I thought, oh my gosh, I need to take all of the information I've learned and put it into a business and a checklist for people. So what I did is I put a business together based on this epiphany I had of what I did for my parents and how filled I felt from that. And the, it is to compile and organize and document people's personal and financial information to provide support and clarity to their loved ones when they need to take care of their family member or upon their passing. So it's really part of the process and story about how I came to that revelation and why I felt I was born. 
disappointed and love awesome. my mother awesome. ended up being at, at the very end. What a, what a wonderful thing to, to write about because I, I can promise you that I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess that 90% of women, especially our age, <laughs> don't understand those processes. So, so thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Nicoletta. I'm, um, I'm, oh. <clears throat> I'm uh, from Romania, as you can tell that I have an accent, but I've been living in Phoenix, Arizona for uh, the past 10 years, a little bit over that. So first, thank you, Sandy, because I'm one of the accidents to whom your, your email <laughs> arrived. And even if uh, Initially, I didn't qualify for, for this group. We were kind enough to think that we can expand it. And <clears throat> I was so thrilled when I learned that I can join um, the, um, the sisterhood of the Silver um, Ladies. And um, here I am. And second, I want to say, sec secondly, I want to second you, Sandy, <laughs> tongue twister. In, um, what you said about Florine and about Norma Jean. So I use Florine as a professional photographer. She did an amazing job. Um, and uh, this morning, Norma Jean just delivered my, my edited story, my edited chapter, and I was so happy with it. It brought me clarity and it came into exactly the shape and with the content that I want to to be out there when it reaches our our um, readers. Um, and speaking of that, my chapter is called Journey, and basically, uh, it uh, presents my my understanding of my current journey on Earth through the portals of birth and death. And, and it's wonderfully written. It is wonderfully written. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Nic Nicoletta and, and Vivian, both are two of the ladies that contacted me and said, I know I don't qualify, I'm not old enough, but I really want to be in this project. So I'm so happy to, see, and you're sitting side by side on my screen. So I'm so happy to see you both. So thank you, Nicoletta. So Vivian. <laughs> thank you, Sandy. Thank you, everyone. I mean, Sandy and I, we know each other for a number of years and we go back at a time of storm wisdom and beyond. So, um, you know, I was very grateful that she, uh, that you both actually agreed to open the wisdom of the silver sister to different group category of age and very, very thrilled to be here. I knew right away that I have to be a part of this. So my name is Vivian Chauvet. I am originally from Montreal, Quebec. I'm a French Canadian. Uh, and I too have an accent, so I'm glad not to be the only one. Um, I moved to Arizona 16 years ago. I am currently in Gilbert, Arizona with my husband and my family. And um, my part of the chapter, I'm going to, we're going to bring another twist. Uh, I say we because I am very deeply connected to intergalactic groups. I work very closely to the Octarians. You can see my banner, my business logo behind me, which is light language. Uh, I am an electron hybrid and also a transport channel for them and other intergalactic groups. So our perspective, I always say our is on, from that perspective on, you know, the intergalactic groups wisdom. So as of right now, a chapter title will be Octarian Wisdom for Ascension. And it will be also incorporating wisdom of my journey as an Octurian hybrid and the requirement and the challenge that comes with that, the beauty of the gifts, and also how much it is very rare to have an Octurian in physical form, especially for a hybrid to be here on this earth in a third dimensional plane of reality where we are, we've already reached a level of ascension and we live in higher dimensional state. So that's going to be a, it's going to bring another beautiful dimension to the collective, the collaborative work that all of us are combining with our Octrain Wisdom for Ascension. Um, and definitely I feel that I'm going to reach out to Florine and NJ for guidance on pictures, making sure that, you know, on that 3D level, everything is in alignment. 
and I'm just very happy to be here. So thank you very, very much. We're, 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 we're honored and thrilled to have you with us. Thank you, Vivian. Emma. Hello. Um, it, it's been a while since I've seen you, but I'm really, uh, really excited to be part of this project. Um, so yeah, I'm Emma. I live uh, in Mesa um, in Arizona. I've been in Arizona for 10 years now. Um, I got divorced a few years ago. Uh, I'm a single uh, parent uh, to two boys. One of them's just turned 18, so he's an adult now. <laughs> um, but I want to, I don't have a title for my chapter yet, but my theme will be um, about asking for help. So last year I found myself bedridden um, a couple of times throughout the year. And um, it was kind of fearful um, at certain times, but the power um, in asking for help, um, you know, normally I'm somebody that will be the one that likes to help others, but to be the one to ask um, was a real learning curve for me. And um, I feel there's gonna be some wisdom in that because I think particularly as women, um sometimes we don't want to ask for help and you know before an emergency and also it's okay it's okay um to accept help you know let our friends help if they want to so <laughs> i think that's a beautiful topic and i i had a lesson many many years ago from a friend and i've always been the helper in fact you know my the, the name sandy means helper and defender of mankind and i that's just what i've done all my life and I had a friend and I, I was going through some stuff myself and would not ask for help. And I had a friend literally stand in front of me and yelled at me and said, how dare you not accept my help? How dare you? So it was, it was just really, it is a big deal for us to, to be able to say, I need help and then allow it to happen <laughs> without, without any conditions on it. You know, not feeling guilty that now we have to pay them back or we have to do something in return. So that's a great topic, Emma. So thank you. And thank where are you originally from? Uh, I'm originally from um, England, but in my adult life, I have lived also in Singapore and Sweden. Awesome. So, yeah. So we have we have three ladies side by side on my screen who all who all have quote an accent. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. I love it, Miss Judith. Hello, Sandy, and all you beautiful ladies. I'm so grateful to be a part of this beautiful mission with everyone and to help to do um, Judith Manganiello. And a lot of you, I think, know me from the store that I had for many years, A Piece of the Universe. So uh, that was in Scottsdale. And so that is how I was blessed enough to meet Sandy and, and uh, Norma Jean and everybody, you know, all you wonderful people. And so um, I'm in Payson, Arizona now that I sold the store and I um, decided to do it on um, the healing gift of opposites. Oh, interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, it's only because I've been in so many different books that I've written so many different stories that I said, okay, what something new I could write and that just popped in. So I feel it's a good topic on how opposites in life let us know what we need to heal. How wonderful, how wonderful. So exciting. what? Thank you, I said exciting and thank you. I'm glad you're here. And thank you for the referrals that you've given. I just, so, you, you've just shared this with so many wonderful people. So thank you. Well, I'm grateful that some of them decided to join us and what a blessing that is. And thank you, Sandy, for everything you do for me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, honey. Denise. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet all of you as well. Uh, just a lot of gratitude to Sharon because we've been friends and business associates for many years. So hi, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I was drawn to this because quite frankly, Sharon asked. 
and <laughs> nobody had ever asked me before. So I thought I like to play the perfect game. And if you've ever wanted to do something and, and it shows up in your path, you declare it perfect and say yes. So you get more opportunities that way. Um, I also am really drawn to this because it's only one chapter and I can't tell you how many hours it took to not write something. <laughs> so um, uh, I, I had written a couple different chapters and was not real satisfied with them, I guess I would say. And I was on a Zoom call for work. And by the way, I'm in Paradise Valley and I lived in the White Mountains of Arizona for 24 years. And I've been down here for about five years. Wow. And I was on a Zoom call um, earlier this year and the person leading it said, hey, what's your, um, does your necklace mean anything? And I said, well, yeah, today I have to make a tough call. And I wear jewelry based from my family based upon, you know, I just sort of ask them for help on that day. So if it's from my grandmother, she was a little tough. So I would wear her ring. Um, and so I ended up writing about family jewels and the women in my life who have, you know, I'll wear their jewels and the impact uh, that they've had on me and so that's what I ended up writing what about thing, what a great thing to write about and share the wisdom of the ancestors if you will mm -hmm. exactly how fabulous. how fabulous well thank you thank you Miss Erin hi everybody how are you wonderful happy that you're here Thank you. I want to apologize for being late. I just couldn't get here right at five o'clock. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm You're glad perfect. to see you all. You're perfect. Yeah. Oh, thank no you. Worry. Perfect. Exactly as I am. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you, Sandy, for inviting me and nudging me and, and inviting me to come and write this chapter. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. I've, I've thought about writing often at different times in my life, and um, it just seems like a whole lot of work. And talking to people that have written books, it's like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. But that idea of a chapter, I could do a chapter. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Um, but I, I have a plan. Um, it's based on the idea of the monkey box. If any of you know about the monkey box, um, it's where they used to go to Africa and they would catch the chimpanzees and the monkeys because they would put the bananas in a box. And the, the monkeys would grab it and then they would cart the box off to the ship and take them away because the monkeys wouldn't let go of the banana. So they were captured, they were trapped. All you have to do to get your freedom is to let go. Jeez, awesome. you know, let great, go, great surrender, message. really hard. Great message. Yeah, so awesome. I'm gonna figure out how to put that in words. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. And. Um, I should tell you, I'm Erin McNamara, and I'm here in Apache Junction, Arizona. And I know about half of you guys. Hi, everybody. Um, I love being part of the community. Um, I work with, well, I have a day job. So don't tell people. Um, I do accounting, but my real purpose is spirituality and the community. Um, I have Purple Lotus Productions, a business where my daughter and I um, create different things. And then we roped my grandson into it too. And we produce Embracing Your Journey Expos, which are a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together in the Phoenix Valley. And, and the whole mission is to help people explore and find their way and, and on their journey of mind, body, spirit. Um, we help, I know kitty, kitties are good too. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, alternative thinking and and when people don't really know what they're seeking well come on down because you're sure to find somebody that has an idea or a way to help you at at the expos so they're a lot of fun thank you for being here and thank you for trusting us in this process so we appreciate you sharon are you with us on audio i, I see your name up here but are you with us on audio that you can talk Maybe not. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn this off. Thank you. I, I just thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you so much for being here and, and 
seeing the vision and being willing to, to jump in and share your stories that are just what I'm hearing. Are, it's going to be a phenomenal book uh, it, it, and because of you. So thank you for that. And just a little, a little plug here. Our deadline to participate is May 31st. So if you know of any other ladies that might want to come and play with us, please share this with them. We would love to have we would love to have them here, and we've got room, and we'll we'll do more than 44 if it if it happens that we need to do more than 44. But we we we're happy that we met our original goal of 33, and we're actually ready and willing and open to having it be more because the more that the more stories we have and can share, the more it will touch people. So thank you, I, I really appreciate you being here. So I'm I'm going to turn this over to Miss Becky Norwood. Becky and I have known each other for well over 20 years, I think. I think so. Um, yeah. yeah, well over 20 years. And so when, when Sharon and I decided to do this book, I knew that Becky had been doing, we hadn't seen each other in several years, um, but I knew that she was doing publishing. So I reached out to her and, and we just had the most extraordinary experience listening to what she has to offer and the, the successes that she's had, not only for her business, but that she's created for all of the authors Becky has over 300 best-selling books to her, to her credit as, as a publisher. So we're in fabulous, fabulous hands, ladies. I can tell you that she, she will guide us and the, the marketing that she does to make that happen is extraordinary. And it's not, we, we have to participate. I will tell you, there is going to be some homework that you need to do. And so she's going to explain to us what that is. So you know, this isn't going to happen by itself. It's not going to happen just because we turned in our chapters. We really need to do step up and participate. And, and I'll turn this over and let her explain how that's going to happen. First of all, I want to thank each of you for being here. And before I give my kudos to Sandy and Sharon, um, one of our sisters was supposed to be here. She's with, um, in Wisconsin and she just texted me a while ago. Her husband uh, got very, very sick last night and they spent the entire night at, in an emergency room. With, they think it's severely food poisoning, but she asked me to give her her Is that Maggie? That's Maggie, Maggie Mongan, and she's from Wisconsin. She's a, a healer, she's a minister, she's a business coach. I published um, four books for her, and we're going to do the fifth one soon. So, um, and she always says brilliant breakthroughs for the small business owners. So she has, um, and all of them are compilation books. There's usually eight authors in those books. So she just said, please, everybody, I'm so sorry I had to miss. And she just exhausted because she was up all through the night. Um, Understood. So send, her, send prayers her way. She was really oh, yeah. disappointed. You know, for Sandy and I, we have known each other for so many years. And I, re I still remember in the early stages of meeting her and my own personal spiritual growth, she had such an impact on me because of her kindness and her sweet spirit. And, and we were kind of mixed in a different, a lot of different community um, type of things that we would, we would show up at each, both of us show up at the same events and we got to know each other that way. And I've always been so blessed by her. And, the, and when she approached me on this book, Oh, I felt so honored and just, just totally delighted. And then um, she introduced me to Sharon and, and Sharon's this bubbly bunch of energy that is just wonderful. For anybody that knows Sharon, they know that she is a bubble of energy. <laughs> she is. And they came to my house. They, I, I get a Facebook message. We want to come to your house today. <laughs> I think it was the night before, but okay. And Oh, we had the most delightful visit. It was just beautiful. And they came bearing gifts and I felt very honored, but what a beautiful- Wearing visit. our masks. Yeah, wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was, what a, what a delightful visit. And I just feel so honored because of this journey that we're on together and meeting all of you. I know Dina, we, we've been in the same circles too, but it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Even though you're in Bakai, I'm in Goodyear. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, yeah, you know, I started in the publishing realm um, after the economy um, tanked many years ago. I was, I had been sharpening saw blades for many years in a family business. 
from everything from scissors and knives to hand saws, all the way up to 52 inch blades for the steel and, and aluminum industry. And when the economy tanked, a lot of my clients did too. In fact, I used to sharpen for over almost 40 years, I sharpened for the, the um, Phoenix Fire Departments and all the rescue blades. And uh, at one point, the work coming from them and from all the steel mills was went to zero. And so I was at this point where, okay, now what do I do with, you know, with my life? What do I do um, for business? How do I make a living? Because I I have never worked for anything else in my life. I've always been self-employed. And I was kind of upside down. And I started watching, I noticed that so many of my friends were losing their homes and they were losing their businesses during that time. And I had to, I started questioning, how do, how do we stay in business if we have a business? How do we keep the doors open even if you're a brick and mortar? And I did a lot of research um, and found a gentleman from uh, San Diego. Um, his name is Mike Keenix and he was teaching he called, he called it You Everywhere Now, and he taught a lot of the, the technology and the beautiful things that you could do to really stay connected with your clients and also really set yourself apart by being out there and, and sharing your message to the world with all the tool sets that we have. And now those tool, same tool sets have just grown massively. And if you think about what happened, has happened with COVID, if COVID would have happened 10 or 15 years ago, where would we have been? And I like to think that we have been truly blessed because we had the tool sets that available to us. We had the technology available to us. Even though COVID has been tough for everybody, I think it has also been a wake up call. And I think it has also been a time for us to um, really, really think twice about where, how we're serving in the world and what we're doing. Um, and the technology that we have is just remarkable. And so that leads me into this book because when I first started, I published my first book, um, it's called The Woman I Love. And that was me. I had to learn to love me. I grew up in a very, very abusive household as a small child. And as I grew up, I didn't know what, what normal was, although there was a big part of me that felt like there was something way different than what I was experiencing. And it was quite a journey. And so that book was kind of just the, the awakening part of me to, to say, you know, this is my journey, this is where I am. And so the, the name of my chapter is The Healing Power of Story, because I believe that storytelling is what connects us and storytelling is the lifeblood of being able to really connect and to really share our wisdom and our expertise with the world. And, I have the honor, I think I have the best job in the world because I get to work with some of the most amazing people. And right now I have probably, I think 45 authors that I'm working with on separate books. And every one of them, I'm in awe, just total awe of what they're bringing to the world and the heart and the soul. And rejoicing too, that I learned this skill set as I have and understanding the marketing that goes with publishing a book understanding what we have and how important this is to the world, to our world. And um, so you will, you will hear from me throughout this publishing process because the success of any book launch is not, oh, I published a book because I can tell you that if we don't talk about this book starting now, and if we don't start making, getting engaged with social media and using the resources, whether it's getting on podcasts or, or writing blogs or using our social media or any number of things, using video to do the different things that we do, this book could get lost in the cobwebs of cyberspace. And by that, I published for authors that just wouldn't listen to the you know, what we need you to do wouldn't follow the steps and I could get them to number one bestseller, but then the book just never sold after that. And it just breaks my heart. And so there's, there's a process that goes with all of this. And we're, we're going to be talking about each one of us building our own launch team and then bringing all of our launch teams together 
um, because the success of the book and the, especially the wisdom that's going to come from a book like this needs to be out there. This world needs it. And storytelling has been with us since the beginning of time. And, you know, I, I have a passion for understanding that bringing these stories to the world, and especially with all of us in collaboration, is going to be incredibly powerful. So um, there will be a lot of little steps along the way. And as we get to lunchtime, you're going to find some major excitement. We are also, I have a TV show. So each one of you all will be on my TV show. We'll have to divide it up because I can only have 10 guests at a time. We'll be doing Facebook Lives during the launch period. We'll be, the launch is going to require each one of us sharing with those that are our own tribe of people, whether they're family, their friends, their business people that, that we know, love and trust, or that know, love and trust us. And so this is all going to be part and parcel of, of what we're going through together. And I'm just thrilled because I think by all of us collaborating and working together and supporting each other, this is gonna be a fun time. And I think all of us, you know, there's so many of you I don't know yet, but I'm so excited to get to that, that I will get to know you and we'll be able to work hand in hand to really see this through to success. And long after it's published, we want that book out there. So we don't, it isn't a matter of, oh, it's published and it's magic. It takes a lot of work to get, keep it, keep it out there. And there's, and the collaboration is what's going to make it successful. So I just wanted to say, I'm very honored to be, to be able to, to be connected. And I too have a chapter in this book, so I'm not off the hook either. We gotta, I gotta do the work as well. And, and I just truly, truly feel blessed. Would you share with them about Trello and the importance of, of that in this whole process? Um, I All of my authors are on Trello and I really, I use it because it's a way that we're, um, it's pretty, I try to simplify it and I, I could probably simplify it a little bit more, but it's, that's where your chapter gets uploaded. That's where, and if you need, I can show you the Trello board. Um, Everybody's on the Trello board. Everybody is listed unless I admit there's anybody new. I don't I think I've got everybody on, but if, I, if you're missing, let me know. Um, it's a way to, for us to stay connected. And one thing that, because I work with so many authors, um, the emails back and forth, so many times that stuff can get lost. All of us get too many emails. This is one place where I know that your chapter is going to be, your headshot's going to be, your bio is going to be, and we can keep each other posted on what's going on. So um, you will receive, if I, if I connect with you on Trello, it will be an at sign. Let me show you how to do that. So I want to make sure everybody understands. Let me get it up here. And Trello is, is basically a project manager, an online project manager that helps to keep everything organized. And Becky's been using it for quite a little while. So it, 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 it's just really an amazing tool to use, as she said. Let me just share my um, screen and I'll show you, just kind of give an example of, of um, how to use it. Okay. So I'm just going to pick just the first one here. The first one is um, the welcome, please come in. And inside of that is a video right here is the video. If you click this, it'll open it up. Um, and it tells just mostly instructions on how to use Trello. And if you've watched that, you can always move that down to the bottom of the, of the screen. So the priority issues are here. And here is, um, we've got Amy's board. Here's an example of how to write a bio. If you want to contact me, you just click the at sign and then find, find my name which is right there. And then write, write your post, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say to me. So I'll just say, just checking, check, checking in and save it. Then I get an email that, that there's activity here and who it's from. And the same way, if I write to you and I'll put the at sign, in this case, it would be Amy. And Amy Sutherland. 
and she'll get an email that, that so you know to go check on the board. Otherwise, this little this little red bell or this bell here turns red if there's some comments that that need to be made. But typically, we will get an email so, just so you know that there's um, anything. Now, in the um, chapter, you can go to either here, attach to your from your computer. You can attach your your um, chapter, or you can do it right here. You can just go attach, and it'll wherever you have that stored, whether it's Google Drive or um, OneDrive or Box or Dropbox or your own computer, you can upload. So if I said I wanted to attach, then I can break it over to, this is a current, a current book launch, I can grab um, the document or the or file and, 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 put, and post it here and then save it. So it's very simple. But it's a good way for us all to stay connected. And as we get going um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to attach the calendar to it. So you can also, let me share again. Um, once we do, um, there'll be a calendar, which is right here. And it will have anything that I need that it's, you know, like we're going to have another meeting. It'll be posted here. Um, anything that we need for, uh, things that are missing, any pre-launch plans, any kind of thing like that will be there. So we'll be doing a lot of activity, but it's all geared not only to get us, get, have us collaborating together and getting to know each other and supporting each other, but also just to, to keep us all on track so that there's less, the least stress possible through this. Uh, Vivian, you're, you're on mute. Yeah, thank you, Becky. Um, super happy to meet you and work with you and everybody else is going to be amazing. A uh, question about Trello. When we write our chapter, can we do it in a Word document and upload it there? I prefer it than in Word, yes. Okay. I, I, sent, I sent you all an email um, a couple weeks ago, I think now, that, that had the specifications of, of what Becky needs. And it needs to be in a Word document. It needs to be, um, the font needs to be Times New Roman or um, Calibri, and it needs to be a 12 point font. Ideally, it should be fully justified. The margins should be fully justified. So if you need me to send that to you again, I can, I've got it and I'll pop it over to you. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I add that. Just with curious, yes. is, is there a way to, uh, attach that file to this Trello. Can we do that, Becky? What is that? The yes, six, yes, there is. The specifications yeah. doc for the, Absolutely. Yeah. If you want to send it over to me so I don't have to go search for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I will make sure it's on each of your boards. Um, That's you? a great idea. Oh, thank you. No. The other question I had is, is the same thing about the bio. I know it's a short and a long bio. I know we got a PDF of it, but we cannot work. We cannot save anything in PDF. So these are the same thing or Word document. Yeah, the bio needs to, it needs to be the same thing in Word um, and formatted the same way. The same um, way, okay. But it, it shouldn't be more than 250 words. If it Ideally, it should be less, but not more than 250. For the bio, yeah. okay. Yeah, um, for the bio. Thank you, Sandy. Can we add a specific picture for the cover on the chapter or do we have... Is there a picture we can have? Your, or your picture like needs to be, yeah, your picture needs to be ideally a headshot, if you can do that, and high resolution. Um, the pictures will be, you can send it in color, but the pictures will be in black and white in the book. And it's actually going to be at the end of the chapter. Okay. Your, your okay. photo will be at the end of the chapter. What we're doing, okay. at the, for, for those that might be really new, what, what Sharon and I had this inspiration to do was to add a page in front of each chapter. And that page is just going to be, um, it'll be the title of your book. And we're going to use the font that's the same font for the book cover. So it'll be the title of your book, your, your name. Of your I mean, the top of your chapter. Thank you. Yeah, your book. <laughs> it is your book. <laughs> your chapter. Um, and then a short quote, a favorite quote that you might have either on wisdom or grace, because the, the, full, the full title of the book is Wisdom of the Silver Sisters Guiding Grace. So whatever quote that you might want to add, whether it's something that you say all the time, 
or it's a favorite quote from a famous person or a quote that your grandmother had. It, it doesn't matter, but do credit who the quote came from if it's not yours. Um, and that's gonna be like the intro page to each chapter. Sandy, um, on the sample that you sent of your sample cover page, you had mm -hmm. your, your chapter title, your name, your quotation with the person, and then at the bottom there was an image. There, Is that the, image still going to be there? Or? Yes, the image will be the, will be the black and white image of the cover without, oh. the, without the words on it. That, that was the... That was an image that when we started this project that Sharon and I found, and that is the image that's the, actually the cover of the book. I know you've seen, hopefully you have, you've seen yeah. several of them in our email, so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the other question I have is um, about the word count, because I know that's really important, but I'm finding that people have more than one website or more than one social media site that they want to share. So Becky, are we allowed to have more than one website included at the bottom of our bio? Absolutely, yes. yeah. And that's not included in your bio word count. That's separate from your bio word count. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome, thank you. I, I thought we had put that in our instruction, but if I didn't, I apologize. You know, that, that is separate from the word count and you can put as many, I mean, not 50, but I mean, you can put as many websites or social media um, links in there as well as an email address and a phone number if you wanted to. Okay. And, and that, that, will, that will back up, Becky, if, if you wanna describe the QR code and what that's gonna do for them. <clears throat> the QR code is going to be a short video that that you can create that is going to be if if somebody picks up um, if you create it and it gets loaded up to um, YouTube or Vimeo whichever one you wish um, the video if they scan the QR code with their, their phone it comes to life and you're speaking and it just adds that extra little bit of of flavor, they get to see you and hear you and feel the the essence of who you are through those through that video. So it's something that, um, and you know, if you need help on creating the video, uh, I typically do my videos either on my smartphone or I like using Zoom. If I have Zoom, you can record um, a video on on Zoom, and it doesn't have to be long; just a short, just an added extra little flavor of who you are and what you do. And it always adds such an extra touch to the book and really, really lets them know the essence of who you are. Do you have any suggestions for the kind of background you want on the video? Because I do have a green screen with backgrounds, but that's just not always convenient or perfect. <laughs> um, so any thoughts? Um, just so that it's, you know, you, it, you don't want to have somebody walking around in the background. You don't want to have something that's disturbing. I kind of like what you have, um, you know, where it's a blurred effect because then it, it you know, it, it the concentration is on you. You don't yeah. want to have it where it's disturbing for, for a person. I actually oftentimes use my background like this, you know, but it really depends on what you want to do. You can have the green screens for me, for some reason, my- uh, Yeah, you get all wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so okay. um, I do have a black um, screen that I sometimes put behind me if I want to make it look really gorgeous, but you know, without any distraction. But typically just for the time I use, I have that for my backgrounds. You know, that's just what it is. And I think people are more listening to the me message. They want to know what you're saying. But um, I think the biggest thing is if, if somebody, if you have other people um, in the background, make sure that there's no dogs barking and there's no uh, people walking around in the background. And, and these videos can be a minute. They don't have to be long. Just, just share the essence of who you are and what, why you wrote this chapter. 
you know, that's what they want to know. And okay, if you maybe thanks. have an extra little tidbit you want to say, that's all good. Thank you. Any other questions? Cindy. Cindy. So speaking of color, um, the color <laughs> silver is the feminine color and it's about the moon, which is also the feminine. So it's great. We don't have to use silver as the tour, but more of us beautiful feminine ladies here. Oh, Absolutely. I love that. Absolutely. Awesome. In fact, I'm gonna, I will, um, no, it's not gonna work. I was gonna read to you what we have on our website because we have that description on our website. What is a silver sister? So awesome, awesome. Did somebody else had their hand up. Did somebody else have a question? I thought I saw a hand. Okay, Becky, do you have anything? Just, just if you if you have any questions, any anywhere throughout this process, be sure and reach out to me or to Sandy and Sharon. Um, here, I'm. I love connecting and making sure that this is something that that you're going to enjoy as well. Um, but communication is going to be the key to the success of all of this. So uh, feel free to reach out if you need anything. Amy? I, I now have a question. Um, do we need both a short and long bio? No, no, just the short bio. Just the short bio. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anything else? I have a lot of background noise. I have family watching TV right now. So like, so like, oh, you know, I do have another question. Is there a deadline for us to upload to Trello? June 21st. Okay. The absolute drop. It's like, that is like nothing after June 21st. Okay. okay. Um, so I would encourage everybody to get it in much sooner than that because Becky's gonna Becky's gonna have a lot of work to do between June 21st and and August 21st, which is when we're gonna do a soft launch, and then the full launch will be September 21st. So Becky's gonna have to take all of that material and compile it and do do the magic that she does with it. So the sooner you can get it in, the better. And June 21st is the the absolute deadline. Becky, do you okay. want to add anything to that? And we have, we will have a nice array of beautiful marketing images that you'll be able to use. Um, they'll have the cover, like with somebody holding the book cover. They'll be doing, you know, you know, it on a bookshelf and all kinds of stuff. And as we get closer to launch time, it'll have dates and links right on the the graphic that make it easy to share. But one other thing I would like to say is, if you're active in social media, um, start talking about. It. What you're doing talk about talk about your chapter speak about you know some of the other chapters that are coming up um you know and what this means to you to be part of this get people interested you know and think about be thinking too of who you want to be on um your launch team because these are the ones that are going to help help promote the book and and also support you well, can you define what you mean by launch team because I, I think there's some people that don't understand what a launch team is when we when the book becomes available, um, I teach, and there'll be a lot of good instructions for you to to go out and ask. But you you go to those that are are people that know know love and trust you. You maybe work with them, maybe their family, maybe their dear friends, and they will be also purchasing the book and then leaving reviews. Um, which is going to be kind of very important. I'll have step by step instructions. And then on the actual launch day, there'll be a free launch and a launch, but on the actual launch day, they too will purchase the book, but they will also share about the book to their, to those that they know, love and trust. Um, you know, their, their, their Facebook following, their email list, whatever they have available to them. And this is what makes it, um, it helps the book become a, a best, number one bestseller. But also it gets the, the, the reach that we really need to be able to reach the hearts that need to be, need to hear the messages that are in this book. So we'll have some pretty step-by-step -step instructions and a lot of good stuff. So be watching for it, but it's a little soon. I didn't, didn't want to overwhelm you quite yet. <laughs> yeah. 
Vivian? Awesome. A very obvious question. I apologize for asking this <laughs> because when I start writing, it just go everywhere in terms of words. Would you please kindly remind me what is the maximum words are allowed in the chapter? 1,200. 1,200. 400? 1,200. That's the max. Yeah, 750 is the minimum, 1,200 is the max. And I know for some of us, that's hard to do. <laughs> you know, it's like when I wrote the chapter for Love Meets Life and it was a thousand words, it was like, I'll never be able to write a thousand words. How am I going to have a thousand words? And what, what ended up happening was once the flow started, I had a hard time editing it down to a thousand words. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 You'll find that once you get in the groove of writing it, it's like, no, that's what I want to say. <laughs> Awesome. So anything else, ladies? Nope. It sounds this great. Wonderful. Thank one you. of the th cool Thank things you. is that some of the other women that, that are in here, like Maggie, she's written a number of books. So it, you won't be alone and she'll be able to share a lot of wisdom too. She's very, very good at what she does. So it, it'll be us, all of us collaborating together is going to be pretty fun. I'm excited. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, yeah, Sandy. Yeah, thank you, everybody. I love you all already. Thank you. Yeah, love thank you. Thank you so much, We're everybody. We're going to be in more I'll communication you pretty hard. regularly, so be sure and check your emails pretty regularly. So it, it now's the time that we need to start building the, the energy and, and helping wherever we can to help you get your chapters and your bios and your your um, headshots done. So and your, and your quote. Can, Yeah. And you don't have to wait to do them all at once. If you get your bio done and you want to upload it to Trello, upload it. If you get your headshot done, you can upload it. So you don't have to wait and do them all at the same time. You can upload and get it done as, you, as you're as you finished with them. Beautiful. But, and but you'll do, enjoy that do, more than any way. As best you can, we, we do ask that, that your chapter and your bio does get edited, at, at, at the very least for punctuation and, and grammar. Um, ideally for, for content as well, but please do have that done. Anything else? Yay. Yay. All right. Thank well, happy you. Sunday. Thank you for being here and we'll see you again very soon. Thank right. you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Uh, Thank you. Much love from both Sharon and I, and I'm sorry she couldn't be with us. <laughs> much love. Bye. <laughs>